Let me paint a picture for you. It's a lovely day on your island. You've just spent all morning talking to your villagers, making sure they're okay so that hopefully you can get a picture later on. You pause for a moment and remember, oh no, I owe Tom Nook. You rush over to the town hall, entering swiftly. You run to the Nook stop, panicking, even though Tom Nook doesn't give you a deadline for the loan, you're still worried that it's taking yourself too long to pay it. You check your bank balance and... <gasps> the loan. There's so much money. And you have so little in your savings. What are you gonna do? But then, an idea strikes your mind. What if I sold some of the items that I have on my island? You sigh. That's no use, I won't get anywhere near enough money for that. But wait, there's this website called Nookazon that people have told me about, and you can sell things for more than they're worth in-game. You rush home. You enter, slamming the door behind you, and notice that your floor is covered with countless DIYs that you've been collecting, because you can't learn them, and you don't really know what to do with them. But now, with this genius idea you have of selling them on Nookazon, along with any other things that you might not have a use for. Hello everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I hope all you lovely people are feeling very good today. But as you saw from my little intro that I just made up, we are going to be selling things on Nookazon today. I thought this would be a fun little thing to do to show you guys who maybe haven't used the site before how easy it actually can be to find some decent people to trade with and to make a nice little bit of cash. So I've gone into my house, gone through the DIYs that I have on my floor and picked out five DIYs that I am going to be using. I'm going to go onto Nookazon and I am going to list these items as if I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to get them sold. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy with the price. I'm not going to accept somebody who's offering me, you know, 250,000, 200 and this, 500, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to take what is probably a decent offer that people are wanting to give me. So let's jump over to Nookazon. Before we begin, I just want to remind you to subscribe because we are on the way to 500 subscribers where I'll be doing a face reveal and a Q&A once we get there. So it'll be awesome for you lovely people to maybe share this with your friend if they, you think that they'll enjoy it. And like I said, subscribe. Now, let's go on to Nookazon, like I said. So I am going to list a few things on Nookazon and see where we go from there. I am not going to be going through the process of listing items on Nookazon, but if you are interested in how to use Nookazon, how to use it safely and things like that, I'll be more than happy to make a video in the future about that. Just let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I only managed to just put on my second item. Someone here has already offered me 2,000 bells for my wooden chair DIY recipe. As I say, I'm not wanting to completely gut people out for this item, so I am going to accept and I am going to send this person a DIY... A, a DIY? I'm going to send this person a dodo code. So let's jump back over to Animal Crossing and I will get a dodo code and invite this person over here. Now, before we invite this person over, I just want to show you guys how you can be safe while trading with people. So one thing I like to do is at my entrance area, I like to block off basically just this area with a hedge or a fence or something. Obviously this can't combat people who potentially have a swimsuit on and can just jump over your island, but it just gives you that extra bit of security so that it gives you some time to stop the session if someone is deciding to go and vandalize your island. So just like that, you have a nice little safe area for people to come and trade with you. So a few things I just want to say while while I wait for this lovely person to come. On Nookazon, at least I feel, it's very, very good to keep a line of communication open between the person, between yourself and the person that you're trading with. 
This is because you can have some issues where, say, you know, you're in the middle of the tr a trade or like me, I'm waiting for someone to come to my island before I give the code out to somebody else. It's just good to tell the person who's maybe waiting to come over that you're just doing a trade or, you know, you're a bit busy at the moment, something's come up and you'll finish the trade later. It's just communication's key. It's always good to keep communicating with people and then you don't get on the wrong side of anybody, at least I feel. So like we always do in all of these things, we say hi and we wave. We wait for the person to come. <laughs> hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm assuming they're either typing or dropping. They're dropping. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will go. Oh, no. I will grab. Okay, so now that I've had that lovely, lovely person come over and, you know, have a gander and pick up their item that I obviously sold them, I'm just gonna add my hedge wall back so that the next person, when they come, they can't go gander around my island because I don't know if there's someone who watches me or not. So it's just, like I said, better to be safe than sorry. So let's uh, drop this hedge DIY on the ground and wait for this person to come over as you can see trading with people is actually really really easy on Nookazon at least I find I would definitely suggest if you are a person who maybe has anxiety with trading with people or you just get a little bit upset with having loads and loads of people on your island or high stress or things like that I completely get that I would say just list maybe one or two items at a time because then you don't feel like you may be disappointing people because you're not getting to their trade straight away or anything like that so like I said it's really easy and I know people can bid really ridiculous prices on things but if you're just a decent person who isn't looking to completely scam people out of money but is obviously looking to make money because you can sell DIYs and things for more than what they sell in game then I would suggest just use knuckles on it's so easy So just like that guys, I have made over 1 million bells selling just a handful of items on Nookazon. I hope this video just shows you guys how easy and safe and okay it is to use Nookazon as a website. I understand it can be quite anxiety driven because you know you have people sending you trades or you sending trades to people but it's honestly so much easier to use than you think and you can actually find some really decent people to trade with. Like I said, I wanted to be a decent person and not accept some of the crazy prices that I was getting. Earlier on in the video, I don't know if I showed it or not, but I was getting people sending me bids for like 250, 300,000, a million, and I was looking at that and going, that's way too much money for you to be sending me for this item because I don't want to be scamming you out of say a million bells. Obviously you're your own person, you can do what you want with that, but you know, a bit of give and take, you know, pass it on forward. If you accept someone in the future who maybe isn't bidding that much, maybe they're only bidding 2000 bells for that, that garden bench or something like that, then you know, accept it and maybe in the future they'll be able to do something nice for somebody else. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe because we're on the way to 500 subscribers where I'll be doing a face reveal and a Q&A for your lovely, lovely faces. 
Also, if you've managed to get to this portion of the video, thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. I have one small, small announcement that I want to make. I am, at the moment, currently making a Discord server for all you lovely people so that you don't often, you know, find me on Nookazon or Instagram or something like that to try and communicate with me. So. Right now, as I said, making a Discord server, but I'm really, really struggling with the name fit. I've got more or less the whole thing set up. I'm just, you know, adding in rules and stuff, but I don't know what to call the server. So if you have any ideas, comment down below what you think the server should be called. I may take that name, and if I do, I will credit you. But if I don't, I will definitely get some inspiration from what you guys have to say. But enough about me rambling on about how good Nukuzon is. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!